here we go with the games, folks. Republican, Democrat, Democrat, Republican. Now, we have all of these Republican candidates that are saying that they're going to be the ones to change everything. When it was Bill Clinton who said that by the time a person becomes a leader, he finds out that someone else makes all of the decisions. You can find that you can have a, 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 a virtual prime minister, a virtual president, a virtual anything. It tells us that whoever we, is voted in as president, they're not the ones who are making any of the decisions. They're just the puppet masters. We have here in the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, and I don't care what you say about this book, this book is telling you exactly what, this peop what these people have planned for us. They are enacting everything that's in this book. It says that the abstraction of freedom has enabled us to persuade the mob in all countries that their government is nothing but the steward of the people who are the owners of the country, and that the steward may be replaced like a worn-out glove. It is this possibility of replacing the representatives of the people which has placed them at our disposal and, as it were, given us the power of appointment. They're telling you right here, we're not appointing anyone. These folks, the Zionists, the, 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 the elitists, they're the ones who are appointing whoever they want to be in charge. Whoever's going to listen, whoever's going to, whoever has uh, uh, the least amount of, of self-respect, respect for humans, respect for life, these are the ones that they're going to vote in. All right, the most deviant of them. All right, it says that, uh, where is it? I had the place where, it says the Goyim has lost the habit of thinking unless prompted by the suggestion of our specialists. Who are the specialists? The news media. The politics, the politicians, excuse me. Those are their specialists. These are people that they have, um, have uh, groomed to deceive the unknown. I'll put it to you like that. Alright, so we're talking about us. Also, it says that through the press, we have gained the power to influence while remaining ourselves in the shade. Through the press, alright, they're using the press to influence us, to tell us how to think, to tell us what we should believe. And a lot of the wombats out there, they're the ones who are following us up. If we can get rid of the people who don't have a mind of their own or the capacity to critically think or to research for, them, for themselves, we could take our country back. Because our country has been gone for centuries. It didn't just start. This thing is, has been going on for centuries. Anyone who you have loved and known, they have died slaves. I don't care what color you are. You've died a slave to this to the United States government, which is a foreign corporation with respect unto a state. You think that you own anything? You think that, you, that, that you're in control of your life? It says that the primary control and custody of infant is with the government, Tillman and Roberts. Marriage is a civil contract to which there are three parties, the husband, the wife, and the state. You think you own your house? You work so, so hard and, and think you paid off your house? It says that the ultimate ownership of all property is in the state. Individual so-called ownership is only by virtue of government. Law amounting to mere user and use must be in accordance with law and subordinate to the necessities of the state. You own no property because you are a slave. All right. We're going to talk about real quick the, com the, the ten planks of the Communist Manifesto. All right, it says that the abolition of private property and application of all rents of land to public purposes. Okay, uh, uh, private property might not be outright abolished, but it's about probably 70% there, okay? A heavy progressive or graduated income tax, we have that. Abolition of all rights of inheritance. Y y your loved one works hard all their life. They pay taxes, unfortunately, and then they die, and then you're taxed again on it. Confiscation of the property of all immigrants and, re and rebels. All right, you got the uh, DEA, IRS, ATF, as well as eminent domain laws and the war on drugs, okay? They all have the power to seize. Centralization of credit in the hands of the state by, no me by means of a national bank with state capital and an exclusive monopoly. Bailouts, anyone? Okay. The actual legislation clearly centralized the banks under the complete tr control of, of the federal government. Centralization of the means of communication and transportation in the hands of the state. 
Okay, if you want to start a newspaper or a radio station or any other form of uh, communication, you got to go through the government because they're the ones who are going to dictate to you what should be said. We just read it here. Extension of factories and instruments of production owned by the state, the bringing into cultivation of wastelands and the improvement of the soil generally in accordance with a common plan. So we have the Departments of Commerce, Labor, Interior, the Environmental Protection Agency, Bureau of Land Management, Bureau of Reclamation, Bureau of Mines, Bureau of Na National Park Services. All right, they all serve the same purposes. Equitable liability of all labor establishment of industrial armies, especially for agriculture. If they can control the food, they can control the people. Combination of agriculture with manufacturing industries, gradual abolition of the distinction between town and country by a more equitable distribution of population over the country. It boils down to central planning. You got the departments of ag agriculture, labor, interior, and, and a slew of other uh, people at, uh, or other organizations at the federal level. That they provide regulations that, that, um, that take care of, of, of all of the manufacturing industries. And, and, um, and it's just, I mean, the list goes on and on. And then here we get to free education for all children in public schools. All right? That's where the mind control begins. They tell you what you're supposed to, what they want you to know. People, let me tell you something. The Constitution for the, for the United States Incorporated is for the corporate entities. It covers public law, commerce, and the uni, um, Uniform Commercial Code. And we know this because Paddleford Fay and Company versus the mayor and aldermen of the city of Savannah tells us that, there, that no private person, hello, that's you and me, has a right to complain by suit in court on the ground of a breach of the Constitution. He is not a party to it. So who, here you have all of the, the, the uh, politicians, the representatives, both Republican and Democratic, who are telling us, oh, this is not constitutional. Oh, this is, this. they just told us we don't have a right as a private person to, to claim a breach of the, 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 of the Constitution. So why are they continually talking about it? Because it is a way for mind control to make you think that you have freedom and you really don't. All right? we got two forms of government. I'm going quickly. I understand this. But it says that we have in our political system a government of the United States and a government of each of the several states. Each one of these governments is distinct from the others. And each has citizens of its own. In, 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 in a couple of my other videos, I talked about how uh, through, the, through the 14th Amendment, they gain control over everybody. All right? And through... The Trading with the Enemy Act, they've made all of us enemies, so they can take at will what they want from us. We no longer have our creator-endowed rights. We now, or, 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 um, we now have civil law, which is what they can take and give as they please. We have a bunch of statutes that govern us. We don't even know how, what, we, we probably uh, commit uh, offense against the law every day because there's so, many statu there's so many statutes that they have that we don't know about. And the only way that we can take control of it is to restore the de jure governments in each state. People don't understand this. We, we're not under the organic constitution anymore. We're under this, this uh, uh, public law. And, and, and we're under uh, commerce. And we're under the Babylonian Talmud. That's what we're under now. And, and I'm not concerned about the people that are always going to be sheep. They're always going to be wombats. They're always going to be zombies. Well, I'm trying to get in touch with the people who still have a soul. Who still have the, the capacity to think for themselves. That God God can still touch their minds and their hearts and their spirits and let them know that there's something very wrong here. We were, we were born free. We were created free to be sovereign like God, to be sovereign men and women on the land. We're not the true debtors here, people. The real debtors are, it, it is the, this, this uh, government that is now using our energy and our labor to pay off their debts. We were born free. All right, the international bankers are in control of everything. They're even in control of our, our very bodies. Through our birth certificates, and I know you don't understand that, and many of you don't believe that, but you need to go and research for yourselves if you have the uh, the, the capacity and the ability to do so. You know, the, uh, I'd rather I'd rather know that I'm not one that who's really in debt because <laughs> we we wanted the, the 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 benefits, and now that we have the benefits, now we're under their control, and the only way to take back ourselves and to take back 